Welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. You may be familiar with these three and a half inch touch displays for Raspberry Pis, or maybe even this seven inch display. In this video, we're gonna take a look at this portable 15.6 IPS monitor. It's extremely portable, and yes, it includes a touch screen. Here we are running it on a Raspberry Pi 4. So you can use it with a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. You can use it with your laptop as an extended monitor. You can also use it with game consoles. And if that's not enough, even phones and tablets. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the features. It's got a 15.6 inch display. It's an IPS panel. It has two mini HDMI ports, touch screen, 10 point touch. It's got a micro USB port also to support touch. It's got stereo speakers on the back. The shell is an aluminum alloy metal and it has a 1920 by 1080 resolution. They also have a 4K version at 13.3 inches and it weighs in at 2.14 pounds. Let's go ahead and unbox the John Well monitor. Here we have our mini HDMI to HDMI converter. Here's our power adapter. That's the end that plugs into the monitor right there. And here we have a micro USB cable. This is going to be used for adding touch support to the device. Now let's go ahead and open the monitor itself. That's a nice case, very solid. Notice the speakers here built into the back of the monitor. It's got a uh, magnetic latch here, which is nice. And let's go ahead and prop it up. There we go. And we'll go ahead and remove the screen cover. Here you have power, volume up, down, return, and settings. On the other side, you got power, you got your micro USB here, your headphone jack, which is nice and two mini HDMI ports. So you can hook up two devices. We'll go ahead and plug in the power. Let's do that. Power goes on the left hand side. We'll go ahead and turn it on real quick. No signal. So we'll go ahead and plug in our Raspberry Pi 4. There's the HDMI. There's the USB for the touch, micro USB. So down here we have the HDMI, the micro USB here for the touch screen support, and the power. Also, I put in an adapter here between the two cables. Uh, I've got a female to female HDMI. Just made it a little easier. You could use a smaller adapter if you wanted, but this was something I had on hand. So yeah, just converted it over to the mini HDMI. So now you can go in and use the touch screen and navigate the menu and the Raspbian operating system. Here we got LibreOffice. Notice I'm dragging the window around with my finger. This is so awesome. This is why I bought the monitor so I could write some software or test out new projects using this monitor and it's excellent here as long as you grab the, the bar <laughs> all right so we'll go ahead and close this out looks great hmm 
Now let's go into a web browser. We'll just type in real quick uh, Wagner's TikTok. There we go. And we'll go to my website and we'll scroll down through the page. The monitor is very responsive. Very cool. Now we'll go into the settings. So I hit the button on the right hand side for the settings and you've got picture, brightness, contrast, color. I'm going to some of the advanced settings here. You can set the input for auto select, which is handy. There's your audio settings. So if you want to adjust the volume levels or mute it, you can do that. And other settings and information. Here it is at 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. Also you can remove the screws on the back so if you wanted to mount this somehow you could. Um, I don't see any reason for that but you might have a specific reason for doing it yourself and of course you can unscrew them and do that. So let's check it out with some more devices. Here we're going to hook it up to a laptop. This is the primary laptop that I use. And here we go. Touch screen. All I plugged in here was uh, HDMI, the mini HDMI, and the USB, micro USB connection to provide touch support. And that was pretty much it. Then just extended the display over. And now my laptop has touch screen support which is pretty nice. And if you like to travel a lot or need to travel for work, you'll be happy to know you could have a dual screen set up in the hotel room or at your work location. So yeah, that's a very nice, nice feature. And as far as portability, here I'm going to put in my old laptop, which is much larger than the one I'm using now. And we'll put in the monitor. Look at that. Fits in beautifully in my backpack. Awesome! I'm ready for a trip! Alright, so now we'll go ahead and try out the Samsung Galaxy phone. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this little adapter in, which will convert it from HDMI to mini HDMI. And picked up this cable. It's pretty handy. It has uh, adapters for all kinds of devices, uh, like micro USB to USB-C. It also has a connection for the uh, Apple devices, so iPads and iPhones and so forth. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below, so if you are interested in the monitor or any of these adapters, they'll be in the description. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this set up. Uh, it does need extra power to power this particular device, so we're going to plug it into this power bank just to make it easier. Okay, so now we've got the monitor on, the phone is on, and it pops up here. It has a little QC code uh, where you can scan it and download an application. Uh, I went ahead and pre-installed it here just to make it go a little bit faster. And basically what you'll have to do is turn on tethering. So we'll go in here. It's just telling us how. And it's going to pop up. And we select tethering. And go ahead and enable that. Say OK. And now we can use our monitor with our older Samsung Galaxy S7. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now we're going to do the same thing, but with my son's iPad. Here he is playing on his iPad, and it's connected pretty much the same exact way, only there was no software to install. That was pretty neat. And here we have the Xbox One. My son's playing Call of Duty on the Xbox One. Look at that screen. It looks great. Oh, notice the display angle here. I'm taking the 
camera off to the side so you can get a good glimpse of the camera angles and or the viewing angles of the monitor rather and it looks great He played a good game of Call of Duty. Alright, so what do I think of it? Well, this monitor has a beautiful display. It's portable. It's got a touchscreen. Works with almost everything. It's even got a headphone jack. The only cons I could think of were the price and the speaker sound is a little bit weak. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please click the like button below. Subscribe if you wish. And we'll talk to you very soon.